WFXR News is your local election headquarters. There's two new members of the General Assembly following Tuesday's special election in Southside. Results from the Department of Elections show that Republican Tammy Brankley won the 9th District Senate seat, beating Democrat Tina Younger by more than 26 percent. And Republican Eric Phillips will represent the 48th House District. He beat Democrat Melody Cartwright by 41 percent. In continuing coverage, former President Donald Trump was off the campaign trail and back in the courtroom on Tuesday as his lawyers argued that he can't be prosecuted for anything that he did as president. Fox News correspondent Caroline Shively has details from Washington. For Donald Trump, it's simple. We're entitled as a president to immunity. The former president's legal team presented that theory to a three-judge panel in D.C. on Tuesday. His lawyers argued the election interference case against him should be dropped because a president has blanket immunity. The judges seem skeptical. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached, would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. And so, so your answer is, is no. Is, my answer is qualified yes. The prosecution told the judges blanket immunity for a president would have far-reaching unintended consequences. It would mean that if a, a former president engages in assassination, uh, selling pardons, these kinds of things, and then isn't impeached uh, and convicted, there is no accountability for that for that individual. And that is that is frightening. The federal election interference case was set to go to court in March, but is on hold until judges rule on the immunity issue in the next few days or possibly weeks. This case could stop in its tracks dead this summer. The Supreme Court could take it. It's very unlikely that there'll yeah. be a resolution before the election cycle. This is also a key week for another Trump trial. Closing arguments are scheduled for Thursday in the civil fraud case against the former president and his company in New York. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.